Whoa, hold up, vintage look. <laughs> yeah, I decided to bring the hat back because um, some sadness is happening in the old hairline. But I'm not really insecure about it. I just wanted to bring the old hat on, kind of show it off a little bit. And also say, hello guys, this is Jay Bongo. <laughs> and I had this idea of maybe talking a little philosophy on this channel a bit more. Because I do like to talk about philosophy. I only took the intro course in Howard Community. In this like community college where I went to Howard Community. Um, yes, it was just community college, but it's good to save to, for if you want to save money and get to go through cheaper courses. Um, and if you can't, get the almighty scholarship money. So, um, basically... I really like philosophy. I liked it. I originally just took this class because it was elective, elective credit that I needed to get a degree. A degree that I have just above there that's still not framed. Um, I didn't get a frame yet. The plan was to get it, but I did not. Um, but I didn't expect to actually enjoy the class. I didn't expect to actually get involved with it a lot. and learning philosophy, I still do remember some things about philosophy. It's more than just pretending to be the wisest and smartest person in the room. It's looking at the world in a way that most people don't really feel comfortable doing. It's trying to develop that wisdom over time. It's appreciating. It's the love of wisdom. So, it's not just becoming wise, it's appreciating the wisdom that you already have. And you might not think you're already wise, but you are. All of your experiences throughout life have given you some form of wisdom. It's, it's based on just how you act. It, it, it's based, it's, the proof of this is how you act. It's how you go about life. It's how you approach chores. It's how you approach tasks. Um, it's how you enjoy life. It's how it's your hobbies, what you like to do, what books you like to read, what video games you like to avoid. So that's what wisdom is. It's our experiences. It's more than also just our experiences, though. It's our experiences and what we think and what we have learned from them. But without sharing our wisdom, it becomes stagnant. It's just trapped in our skulls and it's just left to rot in this already continually rotting uh, brain that we have. We all have a finite time on this world, so we need to share what wisdom we have, not only to other generations, but to our own generations, to previous generations. And, pre and it all kind of goes up, up and down, up and down, until we have this sort of trade agreement, and the currency is wisdom, you know? But what exactly do we get out of sharing wisdom? More wisdom. We get a lot of wisdom, a lot of experiences. And you don't need me to tell you that. There are other YouTubers that do philosophy as well. But I figure just to talk about philosophy in and of itself, what I think of it. Um, I am, and to do that, I'll have to share a little bit about how I think about things, who I am, and this is the most transparent, this is the most transparent that I actually feel comfortable sharing with you guys, and it's how someone thinks, because if you know how someone thinks, if you know how someone thinks, then you're more than halfway into already understanding this person. So, that's what I'm going to do. This is how I think about the world. I am a very flexile person to some degree. Um, there are some... Like, I will look at uncomfortable things, like different view, other different viewpoints, even the ones that get bashed constantly, just to learn. Because you can't 
to really work, learn and develop experience, you can't just look at what you're comfortable with. You have to look at what you're also uncomfortable with and some things that you know are just downright wrong. Because you need to understand why these things are wrong. And that's why we shouldn't silence so much. We shouldn't cancel a lot of this stuff. Because that's like putting a blanket over a wolf. All right? That wolf's still there, and that wolf's still pissed. So, you didn't get rid of the problem, you're just hiding it. So, that's why we have to have these uncomfortable talks. And you've seen me talk about some very uncomfortable things before on this channel, like CP, and a lot of that, and why I'm so against this, and why a lot of people are. Um, sites that prey upon our youth, sites that um, silence other people, from talking about people that prey on our youth, like the one we're fucking on. Um, and that's important. You have to look into the dark side a little bit to understand why people are in the, the different camps. So why we're, we're against this. You have to understand why. Because humanity has abhorred, abhorred so many things. And it's important to realize the reasons behind them. Because there, the, the answer that kills any hope of learning is like, say somebody asks you, hey, why do we hate this thing? Because I told you to. Or because society said so. That doesn't answer the question. That just shuts down any hope of curiosity. Because people don't learn this way. You have to explain to them, even if it seems obvious to you why someone might be against murder, for instance, or why someone might be against cannibalism. Like, there are other tribes that practice cannibalism, so, so why are we all against it? And you, then you go over the wealth of this, the hows and the whys of why it's a bad thing to do. So... Yeah, it's, it's what you do. You don't shut down that curiosity. Don't do that. And that's especially helpful when you're teaching somebody new concepts or you're teaching somebody new skills um, because they're interested. That's why they're asking these questions. They're not asking these questions just because they don't. they completely don't understand. They might not understand. But often, a lot of questions get asked in philosophy because while we do understand the concepts, we want to understand more about it. That's why people ask questions. That's, well, at least in that context, that is why people ask questions. Because they want to engage with the subject. They want to learn more about it. And to be the other guy, to be another person that's just kind of throwing out waxing philosophical about certain things and asking questions and having other people ask questions and that's that's a great thing even if it's not that many people so i just want to point out this before i would get into this is going to be a new playlist before we get fully into this i know this is only eight minutes in and i'm going over the the basics of it trust me um i am not professing to be this all consuming wise person all right i'm not professing to be the pinnacle of wisdom or intelligence all right i am 23 i have a lot to learn but the only way we get to really learn is to engage with other people because if we don't if we stop engaging with other people ultimately this accumulation of knowledge that even I have over the year, over my 23 years of existence means nothing if I have nobody to share that with. Just like with you. However long you've been alive, all this, this accumulated knowledge is useless unless you share it in some way or form. And that's by doing the task with that knowledge or professing your own wisdom on another person. So... That's what this is. This isn't really all that complicated. And that's, that's not what philosophy has to be. All it is is the love of wisdom 
and how um, you can look at the world in ways that you might not conventionally do so. And it's hard to turn that mindset off when you really have it. Because you'll start looking at other things, uh, even things that are obvious, or like obvious politically, socially, and all that, and just you, you still question it because you, know, you don't, you're not against it. You want to learn more about it. But so, so many times these days, I've seen people asking questions about stuff, and then people going like, oh, "It's obvious, obviously." this, this, and this, and, and that's, that's killing any amount of curiosity or traction in maybe any movement you're in, if you're just going about, about things that way. No, you engage this person if they're actually trying to learn. If it's a troll who's just trying to be like, we're really stupid about it, I say, well, oh, you guys kill babies or something like that, like, yeah, obviously don't engage that person, they're just going to make everyone in the room, like, ten times dumber, but... <laughs> The way we eradicate ignorance is not through silencing the stupid, it's by, or the silencing the people that just don't know. I don't want to say the stupid um, brain thing. Um, it's not by silencing people, it's by educating them. And through that process, you learn who you can and cannot educate. And it's also not supposed to be a forceful process. You don't force knowledge on somebody. You can't do that. You can't you can't do that with knowledge. You have the knowledge has to be shared from one willing mind to another. So if the person isn't willing, they're not gonna learn anything. So I'm assuming that if you made it to this part of the video, then you are fully willing to, you know, absorb some philosophy. Uh, all in all, it's, I want this to be a fun ride. Um, and you can also suggest to me stuff that you might want me to talk about. I don't have a set schedule for anything like this. so I'll, And also, if it's a concept that might be a bit advanced, I will need to do my research on that as well. Because, you know, it's doing your own research. You're being respectful to the sort of knowledge that is there. Right? Like, I'm probably the least qualified person to talk about the Maori people for existence, for instance. But if y'all would seriously like me to do so, then I would, I would do my own research on the Maori. This is an example, of course. But, yeah, we can do all sorts of stuff here. Alright? Philosophy is limitless. Your brain is limitless. So, with that being said, I know this is a bit rambly and almost like 14 minutes long, but if you did enjoy any of it, uh, please consider at least liking the video. I don't really care what you do afterwards. You can comment, you can subscribe, you can you know, share it with your friends or whatever. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't mind. And I will see you all later. You have a good one.